My name is Pablo Valbuena, I'm a visual artist and I'm uh, presenting here in today's art a set of installations of a series of pieces that is called Array. My work is uh, mostly about how we look at things, uh, it's about perception, it's about trying to, to make you where to see yourself seen, as uh, some other artists and philosophers have said before, is basically to generate experiences that transform a place, a location, where you have a certain expectation, and uh, through mostly light or sound, to, to change them. So I'm interested into this clash of, of making a change in a space uh, that is only perceptual, but that actually changes your, your behavior in that space. And my work is mostly site-specific, that's the, the way I have developed my practice. So I arrive to a place, I explore that place, I analyze that place, and I make, I provide a response to, to that location. Actually, some of my work explores this sort of theoretical difference between the virtual and the real is quite artificial. In some of the works, actually, I, I really try to explore how uh, the virtual sometimes can be more real than, than actual reality. So that reality is, all, is already a virtual construct. So I, I try to sort of show that as an experience. No? It's not something that you have to read to understand. It's something that you experience to understand. An important element also of my work is, is that trying to fade this sort of difference between uh, what we understand as digital and what we understand as sort of proper objectual physical reality. I'm going to present later a, a project that I did in a cathedral in the UK in 2007 and, and in that project I really realized how this digital sort of understanding of the world based mostly on information it's, it's, uh, it's already embedded in the, in the human, it's not depending on computers, it's something that is embedded in the, in the human brain, in the human way of understanding uh, the world. I think not only artists have that responsibility, I think everybody in their own way have that responsibility. So it's not an artist responsibility, it's a social responsibility. You know? So maybe artists have the capacity to make that responsibility more public or more obvious through their work um, but I, and there are also many ways of making that responsibility clear no? I, think I think all good art is political in the sense that you don't have to be an art activist or an artist doing activism to to be political i think this social responsibility begins with education and there are different pieces on that chain that start in just making people aware of being critical, of developing critical thinking, approaching things not as they are told, but as, as, they, as facts, and try to analyze those facts and respond to those facts. And I think art can play a fundamental role in that way of understanding. So I see art as a way also of educating without being patronizing, but of saying, you know, things can be actually different, no? and you should approach them as you are experiencing them, not as you should or you have been told to approach them.